So this company sent me this laptop bag, so I just want to do a quick overview of it and see how many things fit in here. So one of my favorite parts about this bag is the fact that this is water resistant. It's waterproof just because the material it's made out of. So whenever it snows or it rains, the water will just go right down and flow. Now taking a look at the front, we are going to have this front zipper pocket. So we can just go ahead and open it up just like so. And it also does say Heroic Night here. So whenever I go ahead and zip it back up, you can fully see the text now. And as far as space goes, if you have a smaller phone, you can fit it inside here. Uh, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit too tall. So if you had a, again, if you had a shorter one, it probably will fit in here. Otherwise, you can fit other smaller electronics in here. Now, taking a look at the medium-sized pocket, here's what it goes ahead and looks like. And there's going to be a lot of different things to go ahead and organize all your different materials. There's going to be a zipper in here if you want to go ahead and hide some stuff. Uh, here, you can probably put like a little notepad, and it's got individual pockets for pencils or pens. And now taking a look at the flap, we are going to have these two mesh pockets where you can fit other stuff. And now finally, time for the big pocket itself. And there you go. So right on top, there are going to be two slots. And of course, the top one here is going to be for the laptop. And the smaller one here is going to be for a tablet. And I do like the fact that it does come with this strap with the Velcro just to prevent the laptop or the tablet from falling out. And now taking a look at the flap itself, here you get a lot of things just like the other pocket. You are going to get a zipper as well too to hide some stuff. And you also do have these two mesh pockets and one big pocket here. Now taking a look inside, we are gonna get these two wires. It's gonna be a USB type A and a USB-C cable just to go ahead and connect it to a portable charger. And on the right side, this is where you can go ahead and plug in devices to go ahead and charge them. So this lid just opens up and it goes ahead and reveals a USB type A port and a USB-C port. As for the left side, there's gonna be nothing over here. But now time for the back side. This is where it gets pretty cool. I think the most notable thing on the back side is gonna be the back itself. I've never seen a backpack with this kind of pattern. Uh, it looks really cool, kind of mesmerizing, and it also is going to be made up of a soft foam material just so it's going to be really comfortable on the back. And it also does have this long strap to go ahead and put it uh, on a travel luggage. And now taking a look at the straps themselves, they are going to have a breathable mesh material, and it's also going to be really soft, so whenever I put it on my shoulders, they're going to be comfortable. And now going down, we are going to have these two open loops, so if you want, you can, you know, put your hands in here if you just want to hold on to your backpack. But most importantly is that the fact that there is going to be a zipper here so you can hide some extra things, whether it be your keys or whether it be like a little snack. All right, so I laid out a few things that I want to go ahead and see if they all fit in this backpack. And the first thing to test out is going to be my laptop. So I have a MacBook Pro 16 inch. And the good thing is that it does go ahead and fit comfortably over here. So I can go ahead and check that off the list. Now for the second pocket, I can fit a pencil right in there, a pocket knife, some headphones, and then the smaller pocket, I want to see if my mouse fits, and it does. And finally, in the hidden pocket, I do want to go ahead and put my car keys. So yeah, it goes ahead and fits. Now it's time to see how comfortable this feels on my back. And just take a look at the side profile. This thing is really thin. It's less than four inches. So I am glad all my stuff does fit in here. And here you can see what the handle looks like. It is made up of like a leather material. So here. And if I want, I can go ahead and adjust this a little bit, loosen it up, and there it is. Yeah, this is definitely my first experience with one of these thin backpacks. I've always had much thicker backpacks just because I was used to filling a lot of stuff in it for school, so I never, you know, got something smaller. But I can definitely go ahead and get used to this. Uh, as far as comfort goes on my shoulders, it's very comfortable um, just because it does have these soft padding, so I am glad that they do go ahead and work. And on my back, I mean, it's very lightweight. I mean, everything is against my back. It's not sagging at all. And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and tighten it even more. Yeah, it's a little bit too tight now, but you get the point. And as far as reaching these pockets here goes, yeah, if I want to, I can go ahead and grab my keys easily, just go on the move. And then I did mention that it does have these straps here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and kind of hold it like this. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this bag. It's lightweight, it looks stylish, and I can definitely see myself using this when I just want to go ahead and bring something like my laptop around. But yeah, overall, if you're looking for a slim backpack, whether it be for yourself or for a gift for somebody, definitely check this one out.